Senegal. My name is Gal. I'm 12 years old. I'm in a wheelchair. Thanks to the Tlalim website, I can keep up with the rest of my class. I can also get ahead of the class. And I can make new friends. I can learn new things too. 12-year-old Gal has special needs. Yet the State of Israel sees him as an integral part of the nation's human assets. Israel believes that all its human resources, including individuals with special needs, must be developed and nurtured. Good morning, Tali. Can you A small, young nation, Israel is beset by complex challenges, yet it ranks among the world leaders in advanced high-tech industry. Israel's achievements in the competitive global marketplace stem first and foremost from ongoing investments in the development of its human resources to integrate them into the information society. Numerous national initiatives have been launched in order to achieve this objective. Community internet centers, a computer for every child, e-government, assistance for special needs populations, projects for the integration of new immigrants, internet for senior citizens. Community internet centers have been established primarily in peripheral areas to provide access to the internet and information technology for those lacking the means to purchase computers and obtain access to the internet infrastructure. The centers teach people the basics of using these new technologies and provide assistance to those who require it. This project aims to provide computers to children from the lower socioeconomic strata so that they can acquire the basic tools, skills and knowledge required to take their place in the technology-intensive workplace of Israel's future. One example is the Tlalim project, which offers homebound or bedridden children a unique school alternative, the virtual campus. It simulates the entire range of school activities and services, from the classroom and class schedule, to the sound of the school bell, and even a student's bag and teacher's room. I suffer from some kind of arthritis. I have pain in my knees, joints, legs and pelvis. Sometimes there are attacks. Sometimes I have bursts of pain. And now it's the worst, since I'm already in a wheelchair. Until now, I was on crutches. Tlalim is a great thing, since you can basically do what you want. You surf into the class, the teacher comes online, as well as the students. You can also raise your hand to speak. There were thousands of things that need to be presented. Very good. Can you translate it? You can pass notes to each other without the teacher noticing. Who knows what development means? Israel has unique and innovative experience in the integration of new immigrants and in helping them to deal with the challenge of adjusting to new surroundings and a new language. A prime example is the Family Network Project. Sponsored by the Joint Distribution Committee, it aims to help newcomers from Ethiopia strengthen their communities, discover their roots, and explore their family heritage. A number of Israeli organizations work to improve the quality of life of its senior citizens. Among these initiatives is the Cross-Generation Contact Project, forging meaningful ties between computer-savvy college and high school students and senior citizens born before the computer age. I am 85 years old. I see children working on the computer and they know it well. And they ask me questions and then I am embarrassed because I don't know the answers. That's why I began to study computers. The cross-generation project combines students and senior citizen populations in computers. 
I told myself I must learn computers. Whatever a three, four and five year old knows, I can know also. I learned how to correspond by email. The first time they saw the computer, they didn't understand what it was and how to use it. I believe elderly people are afraid of computers. We slowly helped them and taught them how computers work. I recommend to all senior citizens, go learn computers and get into it. This project seeks to build a technological platform that will enable all citizens to receive essential government services online from the moment of birth and throughout life. In an attempt to coordinate and combine the wide-ranging activities conducted by governmental, public and private bodies, the State of Israel established a National Committee for Information and Knowledge Society. One of its principal objectives is to shape a national strategy for reducing the digital divide. To achieve a truly inclusive information society, nations must ensure access for all their citizens to the information network, while providing them with the knowledge and training required to take full advantage of it. Israel is happy to share its experience in this field with all nations and international organizations working in partnership with them. Technology has great potential for tackling basic social problems, turning the less privileged into fully privileged citizens. My dream is to get up and go to class, see my teachers, and meet my friends again.